Hey gents, today we're going to take a look at vegan wear bags. Now, you know that I'm a sucker for an incredible high quality leather bag, but I also hear from you guys a lot. You wanna know about some of the vegan options that are out there, and I absolutely hear you. This is a new brand that I'm really excited to keep an eye on because I think they are up to some big things. Uh, but they started off with a briefcase. They have a briefcase for 169. It is vegan leather, and it looks to be a very high quality, nice looking bag. So I want to open it up today, show you. They were nice enough to send one over. And because I hear from you guys about uh, different vegan products, I want to get more into that world because uh, I'm curious about all facets. So we'll look at this vegan bag today and then I'll keep an eye out for more stuff. And as always, questions, comments, always appreciated and uh, answer as best I can on that. But if you have other brands that you think I should take a look at, love to hear that too. Uh, and so what's really interesting about vegan wear is, you know, it came from the founder that wanted to get more products that had no animal cruelty involved found out that the fashion, the fashion industry is not the place to really uh, find that sort of stuff. And he en envisions going into like even shoes. If you want vegan shoes, this is the type of brand to keep an eye on uh, as we go. So, so, wow. All right, so the back pocket here. Be good for like papers and paperwork. And then a lockable clasp with a little key here. And then inside, Oh, lots of space. Uh, so let's see, so we have three compartments. Front compartment has notebook, pen, card holder, center, I'll probably throw my computer in there. In the back, another nice big compartment. And strap. There's the expansion right there, see? Goes from nice and thin. Get big and fat. I know you guys like to stuff things in there. That's what I keep seeing on my away bag thing. It's like, how much can I shove inside of it? It's about packing efficiently. So there's a strap. So the vegan leather is really interesting. It's not too thin. Like I've held bags from like Zara and H&M that have this just like really awful feeling leather. So it doesn't feel like true leather, but it also doesn't feel like cheap bags that I'm used to seeing at like a JC Penney or some of the other places. The construction, you can, s the stitching detail. So the bag is well constructed. It is made of 100% vegan leather. So if you want a nice looking briefcase, you don't want to go with traditional leather, which is associated with the killing of animals. And you don't want to go with something like a waxed canvas, which doesn't have that refined formality look to it. This is a great option. And when I asked about the synthetic leather, it's a polyurethane based synthetic versus PVC, which is one of the less environmentally friendly versions of synthetic leather. And the designers of the bag made sure this went through extensive durability testing to make sure it would withstand and hold up like other leather does. They also tested it with 40 plus pounds of gear inside. And instead of the bag being machine made like other ones in a lower price point, this one is hand sewn so that it does have that more extensive durability to it. I also like the bag is extremely slim, but also expandable. I see a lot of bags that look a little bit too big. Because the bag is so sleek and slim, it's not going to be too big, but it can expand if you need the space. The hardware on the handle and the hardware on the strap are pretty solid. This looks like very refined and very nicely finished. And then it clips in right there. Pretty nice action. So they offer this in black or brown. So black, obviously a little bit more formal, brown, way more versatile. I'd love to know what this looks like after, you know, a year of daily active use. Oh, and then there's a pocket on the front too for a little bit more stuffing in there. So you get three sizable compartments, one on the front and another one on the back, five pocket design. And then I really like the feeling of this handle. So that is vegan wear. And if you guys are interested in more stuff like this, definitely let me know. And if you want me to do a full year's worth on this, I'll have to pack away one of my favorite bags from Satchel and Page, but I'm willing to do so because I'm all in it for you guys. So I'll put links to veganware down below so you can check them out. I have the bag right here, so any questions and comments, maybe I'll do it as a giveaway, or if there's somebody that would really treat this well for a review, 
I'd be open to that too. Uh, so, hey, let me know. As always, questions, comments, I'm also at Twitter and Instagram, the underscore Cavalier. I have a bunch of links in the description to my brand tracker if you wanna recommend brands, or also the podcast and some other things. So make sure you check that out. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. She's coming.